I am going to show you how to take a 3D image and carve it, carve it on your CNC router. Completely free. No trials, no demos, no monthly fee, no purchase. Free. So I go to Tinkercad, which is free, and I'm going to create a simple 3D object. A cone and I'm going to take the cone and export it as an STL so now I have my STL cone file visual CAD run free mill completely free free mill I'm in free mill I'm going to open up the STL there it is I'm going to walk through the wizard and go to set work zone I'm going to set to part box and I'm going to go down to create cutting tool I'm using a square nose cutting tool so it's not going to be smooth you can use a V or a bull nose and it will look better. Spindle speed 10,000. Now, here you can set your machining options. I'm going to choose one millimeter step down distance. So each cut it will lower and my step distance is 1.175 you can see the cut pass in the steps so if you make your step distance smaller it'll look better and if you do your step down, it'll also look better. You're going to go to post process operation, select your machine, GRBL, I'm going to post, name it Cone, save it to the desktop. Shows you the G code. Now I'm going to go into Candle, which is, again, completely free. I'm in Candle. I'm going to open the cone. There it is with all the steps my bit next I'm going to go into the shop and start cutting I have it loaded up in candle which is completely free I have my wood in there so I'm going to set my zero work. Don't forget to set your zero, zero. If you look up here, shows where the bit is, the cone, to send it.
carving for free. Here's a half circle I did. No monthly fee. No purchase. No expensive software. If you use a conical bit or a pointed bit, your results are going to be much better. Smaller cutting bit would do well. I hope this helps. It took me a long time to figure out, but this is free, free.